Let me catch you guys up. So, last night I found out my nemesis, Miles, got a MacArthur Genius Grant just after my ex turned me down for sex. So I got angry, I got very drunk, and I went pee pee on the hospital where she works. The police officer suggested that I stop. I suggested that he pleasure me sexually. He did not. Instead, he hurt my arm, and I went to jail. So, that catches you guys up to speed. Why don't we get back to work on destroying Miles' sanity? As you all know, this week we are devoting our attention to the psychological dismantling of my academic rival, Miles Leonard. Miles happens to be British. He also happens to be adopted. So, this week we will practice and perfect British accents. And whosoever is best will call him, posing as his biological birth mother, who he's never met, and tell him some sort of devastating secret. Any questions? This is my sanctuary. Wow. That's fine. Oh. I was kicked out of the bookstore. Tried to explain to the manager that their staff pick was feel-good, soft-core nonsense. Yeah, I happened to gesture with my coffee hand, you know, splashed a couple measly drops on the guy. He starts throwing the word scalded around. You've scalded me! And yeah, next thing I know, this large-calfed tyrant has his troop of baboons forcibly eject me. So, new plan. British accents weren't exactly taken off anyway. We will now focus on taking down the Miles display. You will infiltrate the store by getting jobs there and changing the staff pick, thereby giving me some semblance of sanctuary in this chili dump of a town. Okay, everyone shut up immediately. Today, we're starting a new revenge mission. Our target? Boom. Hi they. Al, go to the principal's office right now. You too, you sycophantic minions. According to this gossip column, my nemesis, Miles, is dating Lisa Loeb. The Lisa Loeb songbird. Sex in glasses. Meanwhile, I have had zero bangs since moving to this garbage pile of a town. That's not gonna work for me, so. New plan. Break up Miles and Lisa Loeb. What the hell's going on here? It's parent-teacher day. Well, welcome to AP Bio. So I wasn't able to hit Eggleston, but I pee-peed on his building, and I popped one of the interns pretty good. Yeah, this is a warrant for my arrest in New York, but guess what? And in New York. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, do it. Okay. Come on. I can't, I can't. Damn it, Sarika. Why will no one staple my hand? Maybe if you told us why. All right, listen, you dum-dums. Plan is to injure myself badly enough so I can be admitted to the hospital where my high school ex, Meredith, works. Uh, things were definitely flirty the last time I saw her, and if I can get her to show her caretaking side, well, that is gonna be my ticket to Bang City. Doesn't she have a boyfriend? I'm sorry, do you guys not look at these? He's crossed through. He's nothing. I'm the one that's perfect for her. Don't make me feel like I'm, I'm wasting my time up here. Now, who's gonna staple my hand? Nope. Uh-uh. Shut it down. Shut it all down right now. Whatever biology you're studying back there, it's done, okay? Back to the Miles missions. As we said, this is both. I think you'll be pleased with this. I got a lock of Miles' hair, boss. And a little child shall lead them. How'd you do this? Remember when you had me send him that catfish message? Uh -huh. It blossomed into a very complicated online relationship. Wow, okay, well, kudos. Now I think it's probably best that you cut off all ties to this 40-year-old man forever. Yeah, it's gonna be much easier after the holidays, Chief. Looks like I underestimated you guys. I mean, hell, if it takes five minutes of biology a day to destroy my rival, then maybe it's worth it. All right, go ahead and take your seats. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what's the next step? 
We find a murdered body. What? Damn it, that's the next step? That is a very hard next step. You luck into a murdered body? Presumably before the police have arrived? That's insane. All right, take out your phones and start typing Miles Leonard pedophile into Google. Luck into a murdered body? What are you talking about? You want me to throw away the hair? <sighs> nah, why don't you go ahead and keep the hair? You know, this is Toledo after all. It's probably a dead body somewhere in this room. Don't care. I'll just pop one of these Advil PMs and go to sleep. Let's see if we can make today become tomorrow. You said there's no greater pick-me-up than taking down someone who's wronged you. But now you're just gonna sit there and do nothing? Yep. All right, what is one quality that Miles has that Mr. Griffin doesn't? He's British, which means he can get deported. And what's the number one reason people get deported? Exotic animal smuggling. All we have to do is get illegal exotic animals, put them in his house, call the feds, and boom, he's deported. Where would you get the animals? Yo, my sketchy neighbor breeds snakes. Yeah, he's always trying to sell his python eggs. Hmm. You know, guys, there, there could be something to this. Look at that. While we're on takedowns, I'm putting that Stanford Dean on the list. Freaking hyena. Oh, if we're making a list, can we put my karate teacher on it? What? He laughed when I fell doing my roundhouse kick. God does sound sucky. The dictator at CVS won't let me buy more than seven lighters. Sure, let's get him, he's toast. Up, 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 up. This should go without saying, but uh, we're back to being a no bio zone. Why don't you go ahead and toss that puppy in here, Sarika? Let's go. Yep. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we're cooking. What else we got? My grandpa insists on cutting my hair. Oh, that's no good. My dentist is making me get braces, but I don't think I need them. Keep them coming. Who else? Coach Novak for making me do push-ups. The lunch lady with a beard. Denzel Washington, but also just to meet him, Denzel. The kid in the cafeteria who keeps flicking my nipples. Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs>